Okay, today in IXL, we are going to be doing EE3. EE3, uh, again, our aiming point is 80 plus. Okay, now, um, whenever we have, we never want to leave an answer with a fraction underneath a radical symbol. So when we have that, we're going to try and break it up. So square root four over square root nine. Okay, and I'm doing that because while four ninths is a fraction that I don't know a whole lot about, I do know that per four is a perfect square and so is nine. So the square root of four is gonna be two and the square root of nine is gonna be three. So two thirds is gonna be our answer. Okay, uh, now they're not exactly mixing this one up. Same idea, can't leave a fraction underneath a radical sign. All right, uh, so we are going to break this up into the square root of nine over the square root of four, okay? Square root of nine, we can take, it's three, and the square root of four, we can take, it's two. Okay, so let's use their fraction keys. Three over two be our solution. Okay, now, our numerator may not simplify, but that's okay. Um, can't leave a fraction underneath a radical sign, so we're going to break it up into the square root of six over the square root of 25. Square root of 25 I can take, it's five. Square root of six I cannot, so it stays underneath the radical. And remember, in our simplified answer, I can have a radical in the numerator, I just can't have one in the denominator. So since my denominator looks okay, I can go ahead and type in that answer. So fraction, square root six over five, and we're looking good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do before I start to reduce this, um is i i realize that root six is not a perfect square and neither is root 75 but what i do see <clears throat> is that six is divisible by three and so is uh, 75. so i'm going to break this up into root two root three over root 25 times root three okay i'm doing that because i want to cancel the root threes, anything over itself is one. So now what's left in my numerator is root two. What's left in my denominator is the square root of 25, which is just five. Okay, so fraction square root two over five. <clears throat> okay, once again, I see a fraction that there's no perfect squares uh, initially evident, but I do realize that they're both even and I can break this up into square root five times square root two over square root nine times square root two. I broke it up that way because now anything over itself can cancel. So the root twos will cancel and I'm left with a root five in the numerator and a root nine, which is going to become three. Now, uh, in this one, it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to reduce, but it does look like my denominator is gonna be rational. Um, so my denominator is gonna be square root four. So that'll give me a two in my denominator, so that's good. So my numerator, I'm gonna have to break up and see if I can simplify. I can break it up into root nine and root five, okay? Square root of nine I can take, it's three. Square root of five, I can't, so it's gonna stay underneath the radical. And I know that's gonna look a little bit weird. We're gonna have three square root five over two. That's simplified. Okay, once again, my denominator is gonna simplify just fine. My numerator, I'm gonna have some work to do. So root four, Looks fine here. Square root of 125, we can't take, but we do know it ends in a 25. So it's going to be divisible by root 25. Square root of 25, we can take. It's going to be 5. Square root of 5, we can't. Okay. Square root of 4, we can take. It's 2. 
All right, so I have no fraction underneath the radical, all rat uh, factors, all perfect square factors are taken out and there's no radicals in the denominator. So we're looking good here. Okay, so five square root five over two. Okay, once again here, it looks like a repeat. Uh, so that was root three, root two, over root 25, root three. The root threes will cancel. So I'll have root two over five as my solution. Okay, here's one where nothing is gonna reduce. And this is one we're gonna have to rationalize, okay? So, um, root five, over root six is where we're gonna start. Now I realize that nothing, we can't do anything here. We can't reduce, we can't factor, uh, so, but we can't leave a radical in the denominator. So what we're gonna need to do here is multiply by something that's gonna give me a rational value in the denominator. What I'm multiplying here is, is by one. It's in the form of root six over root six. Anything over itself is one. Now I did that because root six times root six is root 36 and root 36 is six. So it rationalizes my denominator. My numerator is root five times root six. So just root 30, root 30. I can't take out a four or a nine or a 16 or a 25. So that's just going to stay there. This is going to be simplified. Our denominator is, uh, is now rational. It's very easy to break things up into six equal groups as opposed to root six equal groups. Okay, so my numerator is root 30 and my denominator is gonna be six. One more time, just like that, my numerator, I'm gonna break up into root four over root 15. Root four, we can take, it's two. Actually, let me, uh, let me just take this. Root 15, we can't break up and we can't leave it there. So we're gonna end up multiplying by something that's equivalent to one in the form of root 15 over root 15, okay? Root 15 times root 15 is root 225. And the square root of 225 is gonna be 15. So my denominator has been rationalized. My numerator, I'm not gonna to multiply together because that's a perfect square. So we have a two on the outside and a root 15 uh, underneath the radical. So two root 15 over 15 is gonna be our simplified answer. So two square root 15 over 15 is going to be our answer. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys on the Zoom. Good luck.